welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechDragon.info and once again we're on the test server. And now I'm gonna take a look today at the Excelsior Premium Tank that is newly introduced. I would like to make a small correction real quick um, about the American tree. The M4A2E4 we go, is not going to be in the game. Um, from doing some research, it seems that this is a Russian tank available on the Russian server. So that's why it's in here. It's more or less a you know, sloppy mistake slash laziness that it's here. So you can test that out if you like, but it won't be on the official American or European server. Anyways, let's get back to the Excelsior. But I'm all at it. Let's see. Let me pull up some comparison here. And hey, where's the flag? That's the flag. Go to the British tree. Pick up the Excelsior. Pick up that one, and pick up that one. So the Excelsior. I think the best comparison you can make is a T14. Um, and why I say this is because the T14 has pretty decent frontal armor because of the slope. And the new Excelsior British tank has pretty good armor because it's pretty good armor. 114 on the front, 114 on the front turret, so pretty much well armored from the front. While the American has 101 on the turret, so less actually. However, it has a gun mantlet, so I'm still saying that the T14 can take more hits in a turret without penetrating. Uh, hull armor on the T14 is only 50, while the Excelsior has 114. I have to say the top speed of the um, Excelsior 38.6 is pretty much its cruising speed um, from the uh, four games I've played I think I had about an average speed of about 38-39 on grasslands so it can definitely reach that speed so it's a pretty nimble tank it really is um, think of it as a combination between the Cromwell and a Churchill. It sort of looks like a Churchill, but it more maneuvers like a Cromwell. Um, and the speed is like smack in the middle between the two as well. So I would say it's a hybrid between those two. Um, it has like the gun from the Cromwell, I think. And pretty much the same gun, I think. But um, I picked up the um, 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 T14 because just look at the guns. Rate of fire is almost identical. Penetration, one difference between the two. Average damage, exactly the same for all shell types. Accuracy, 0.42 and 0.46. There's a minute difference between the two there, but the aim time is longer on the Excelsior by 0.2 seconds, so they are pretty much the exact same guns. So these tanks are very, very similar. The Excelsior is slightly more maneuverable than T14 and has slightly more armor, but the gun is exactly the same. So what this means is the Excelsior can get in and out of spots a little bit quicker. It's slightly smaller profile. I can show that real quick from the side here, and we'll find my T14. There's not much between them, but it's just a slightly. There we go slightly smaller profile. There's really not much between them. As you can see the sides here are slightly higher and the top of the turret is slightly higher. So yeah, there's really not much between them. I do believe this counts as spaced armor here on the tracks. So the pretty shitty side armor of 31. The back armor is damn impressive. 108 back armor. It's like the highest armor up to like tier 10. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's ridiculously well armored from the back. And sloped, I mean, if you hit anywhere here, forget it. That's gonna bounce. I don't know about this spot. This is probably a weak spot here in the middle. These things probably just end up in a track, so you probably want to aim here. Um, the back of the turret is... Um, what do we have? 92. Size of the turret, 92. So if you hit these at a you know, straight angle and you have 
pretty much this gun, you can go through here, through the turret. The back is pretty well armed, the sides is garbage, only 32, but I do believe this counts as spaced armor. So that might actually add up to double that uh, number here. Uh, here, excuse me. So it's m probably the hull, so which is, you know, in here is 32, and this is probably 32 as well. So we can sort of see here. So it probably is more along the lines of 60 millimeters instead of 30, so it's not too bad. Um, my verdict about this tank so far, it it works, but it works just like my T14. I really don't notice any difference between the two. They seem to do equally well, or equally crap, depending on how you want to see it, because of the gun. If you really want to train your British heavy crew, and you don't want to buy a Tonk, which I can understand, <laughs> given the speed, um, it, yeah, it works. It makes money. Um, average is about 20k, what I've seen, non-premium. So it makes money. Uh, it's not bad, you know. 20k a game is not bad, but don't expect to do too well in this game unless you're top tier and you're the only heavy. When you, you know, get heavies in the mix, you're gonna do a whole lot shittier. When you get into tier 6, forget it, the tier 6s are gonna eat you up. KV-1s's and stuff, forget it. Tier 6 mediums, they're still gonna eat you up. They out-damage you by so much that your armor and your health pool is not gonna do a damn thing. And before you can weather them down, they will have you dead. Now, the only thing, the HP is not that impressive. The T14 has 690, the Excelsior, nope, that's not the Excelsior, has 670. So it's even slightly less than the T14, so... If you have the T14, or if you have played it, this plays pretty much the same. It's just slightly more maneuverable. The top speed, I do believe... If the page would load, that would be interesting. Well, it seems the game has some issues, so I guess we're going to wrap it up and show you some games here. But the top speed is pretty much the same. Um, or effectively the same. So, let's... oh, there we go. The game's alive again. <laughs> no idea what that was. Bit of lag there. Um, top speed is 34 here versus 38. So, pretty similar. So, in almost all respects, this is the pr exact same as a T14. Money-wise, playstyle-wise, armor-wise, maneuverability-wise, it gun-wise, it, it literally is a copy of the T14. So, let's jump into some games and show you how it works and how it doesn't work. Here we can see the uh, speed of the Excelsior. Over the bottom left corner, I'm doing 41 down the hill, and now we're back to... Just checking out the zoom and stuff, and uh, this is the first game I'm doing in this tank, so, yeah, just taking a look around. It looks a lot like a Cromwell. So, look at the minimap, thinking, oh goody, I'm practically the only one here, but this is a test game for the server, so who gives a crap, I guess. No climbing, it slows down a bit, but still a pretty respectable speed altogether, I would say. It performs pretty well in the speed department. Oh, well, here I'm just trying to angle my armor for whomever is out there, that they're more than likely going to shoot my track. And just sort of waiting in ambush. Dum, 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 dum. Hey, look, it's an Excelsior. Bounce. I'm trying to aim for a machine gun port on that side. Bounce. Hey, he pinned me. He pinned me again and tracked me. Okay, he pinned me again and tracked me. Yeah, he is shooting premium. No doubt about it. Lovely that test server, right? Uh, how can you even test a tank like this? See, that's the uh, machine gun port I was aiming for. But, uh, of course, they're shooting bloody premium. I really think they should just take it out of the game. As you can see, premium versus non premium, I couldn't even pin him once, and he pinned me, what, four out of five shots? Uh, one bounce? Ah, this is stupid. That's bloody stupid. So here I'm just backing the hell out because I want nothing to do with that. There's no way I can win against somebody shooting premium. 
So I'll just switch over to this M4. You can see the aim time is pretty much the same right now as my loading time. But still, it takes quite a bit of shots to kill this M uh, M4 here, and he's behind the rock. I'm still a bit worried about the um, Excelsior over here somewhere. Otherwise, I don't know where he's at. Hmm. Where? Oh, where did he go? Dun, 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 dun. Should be around here somewhere. Um. This is, it is a British tank. It does have pretty decent gun depression. So, little hills like this you can definitely use for hold down. I'm trying to do right now here. So, yeah, it's pretty good for that. And, oh, that M4 in the middle was up again. Eh, hill in the way, hill in the way, come on. Yeah, somebody took him out. Too late. Dang it. So, what do I have left? Artillery, four of them, and that pesky Excelsior on my side. Hmm. A almost 500 meter shot. Boom. Nailed it. <laughs> so, the accuracy in this gun is not great at point. 41, I do believe, from the top of my head. But even at long range, with the new changes they've made, um, it does seem to work. And I think this Excelsior here just gave up or something. I don't know what the hell he's aiming at. As you can see, when you get to shoot his side, hot knife, butter, you know, it works just fine. There we go, we take him out. So, yeah. Rate of fire on this gun is excellent. Penetration, very much less than stellar. So, I will do some tests on this tank in a little bit. I uh, might make a short video out of it. Might we'll have to see about the uh, frontal armor. I just missed because I don't lead it. Oh, take a look at this shot. Boom! <laughs> That, in a million years, should not have hit, but it did. So, our first game, we get a Master Badge 3rd Class, a Sharpshooter, and a Master Gunner. 21k money and 1.2k experience. Not too shabby. I didn't do that great. Only 800 damage done. 19 shots, 16 direct hits, only 12 penned. Didn't do too well, but... I didn't have auto repair on for this one, by the way, but I still made about 20k profit, so that wasn't bad at all. Let's take a look at another game. So, as you can see here, we are on Abbey, and in pretty much the worst matchmaking you could imagine. A very, very tier 6 game. And this gun isn't spectacular in tier 5. So I'm just thinking, what the hell am I going to do on this one? Crap. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, hmm. Well, let me skip ahead a little bit. And... A little bit more. And a little bit more. And more. The whole beginning of this match was not very interesting. I couldn't hit a thing, couldn't see anyone. I'm gonna decide to move up with this KV-2 to support him if anybody tries to flank him. I'm just going to use his gun and his armor. Look at the side there, an Excelsior tank, okay. Fine, we have a heavy down there. Hmm. Let's see if we can hit this D-Max. Yes, we can. Can we finish him? Bounce. No idea where that shot went. Yay! We got a kill! Now, looking at my map, I see that <laughs> the left flank is gone, the right flank is gone, the only thing we have is the middle. Yeah. We got a Hellcat over there. 
and one of the new artilleries. M44? Yeah, M44. And here is just waiting for that zoom time to finally zoom in, and it took forever, and I didn't want to risk a shot until the 88. So I couldn't take a shot. Oh well. Missed opportunity for a kill. And the 88 is getting pummeled by artillery. Hey, look, an Excelsior. Did we get to kill him? I want to kill him. I'll try to shoot his turret, nothing, and the 88 gets the kill. Dang it. So, yeah, this gun is very. Mmm. Just. Mmm. A lot of times this gun just will not go in the target, just won't do a thing. Yeah, I don't know what I was shooting at there. Front doesn't really work. This SU 100Y does have a green penetration marker, and I have gotten through those spots with a. I'm just shooting at the middle because the accuracy allows me for you know not to aim very well here anyways at this range. So, oh well, he's taken down a KV2. Great. I do not want to end up in front of his gun. So, I'll use some ridge lines in the base here, and go around. Hopefully. But so far, I've really not done a whole lot. <laughs> a lot of bouncers, a lot of things missing. I'm trying to track in there. Ow. trying to beat his depression and just show my turret, but it also means I can't shoot a damn thing on him. I'm trying to take out his gun there because it's kind of the only thing I can see. So I'm getting into a different position here, so I'm out of his fire. Side of the turret, can't pen it. I'm trying to shoot a hatch there. Okay, that one in. Yeah, that one bounced and slightly high, so at close to semi-medium range you can aim for weak spots but it's rather hit or miss if it actually works and I know I'm being shot at but I want to get that extra shot in didn't work though a target at full health okay time to abuse the terrain again move forward shoot him pull back move forward shoot him pull back ow I can't take another shot from him. So a tog has no problem whatsoever pending this tank. I don't know if he's shooting premium though. I mean, this is the test server, that's a good possibility he is. Surprisingly, the one in the front hall did go in. I can shoot him in the turret. Well, I could, just not at this angle. There we go. So, yeah, this gun is just, yeah, it's exactly the T-14. It's very hit or miss, literally. You either hit or miss, and even if you hit about half the time, it just bounces. Unless really close range, you can aim for weak spots. So, in all respects, this tank is pretty much the same as the T-14. Same gun, same armor, bounciness, roughly. I will do some testing on that, but... As you saw in this game, again, not really a stellar performance. Decent money. Decent experience, it didn't do too bad, but um, in the team, you know, I did a thousand damage almost, two kills, not really great. Um, they got a little bit of spotting damage in, took some hits, but almost everything penetrated, so tier 6, you're kind of screwed in this tank. Mm. Thank you for watching, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more, please subscribe. See you on the next one.